Hi to all. In this video, we are going to see about network model formation. Formulation. Okay. It comes under power system analysis to 17 EE 71 model 1. For a load flow study of a real life power system comprising a large number of buses, it is necessary to produce systematically by first formulating the network model of the system. So, network model formulation is the uh, method how to find the uh, voltage value, current value and power value from the network. Okay, uh, a power system comprises several buses which are interconnected by means of transmission lines. Power is injected into a bus from generator while the loads are tapped from it. Of course, there may be a bus there may be buses with only generators and no loads and there may be other with only loads and no generators further var generators may also be connected to some buses okay uh, var nothing but reactive buses okay the surplus power at some of the buses is transported via transmission lines to buses deficient in power Figure 6.1a shows the single line diagram of four bus system with generators and loads at each bus. To arrive at the network model of a power system, it is sufficient accurate to represent short line by a series impedance along a line by nominal pi method. Equivalent pi may be used for very long lines. Okay, often line resistance may be neglected with small loss in accuracy but great deal ever saving the computation time. This is a single diagram of a four generators with the sample four bus system. Okay, uh, for systematic analysis, it is convenient to regard loads as negative generators and lump together. The generators and load powers are the buses. Okay. Thus are the height each height, height bus. The net complex power injected into the bus is given by S1 yeah. SI is equal to PI plus JQI. Here P is the real power and Q is the reactive power. So we can rewrite PGI from the generator minus PDI plus J. QGI minus QDI where the complex power supplied by the generator is SGI is equal to PGI plus JQGI and the complex power drawn by the loads is the real and reactive powers injected into ith bus are given by PI is equal to PGI minus PDI I is from 1 to n. QI is equal to QGI minus QDI. Uh, here J is equal to 1 to n. Uh, okay, uh, for, figures, uh, for figure 6.1b shows the network model of the sample power system prepared on the above lines. The equivalent power source at each bus is represented by shaded circle. This power source represented by shaded circles. The equivalent power source on the ith bus inject current I1 into the bus. It may be observed that the structure of the power system is such that the all sources are always connected to a common ground line, ground node. Okay, the network mod uh, 6.1b has been redrawn in figure 6.1c after lumping the shunt admittance at the buses besides the ground uh, nodes, it has four other nodes buses at which the current from the sources is injected into network. The line admittance between nodes I and K is depicted by YIK that is equal to YKI. Further, the mutual admittance between lines is assumed to be zero. Okay, applying Kirchhoff's current law at nodes 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, we can get equation J1 is equal to V1 Y, Y10 Y10 plus V1 minus V2 Y12 plus V2 
plus V1 minus V3 Y13. J2 is equal to uh, Y2, uh, V2, Y2, 0 uh, plus V2 minus V1. Similarly, we will get J3 and J4. Rearranging and writing in matrix form, we get like this J1 here and Y10 plus Y1 like that and voltage in this side. Okay, equation 6.3 can be re uh, recognized uh, to be the standard form y11, y12, y13, y14, y21, y22, y23, y24, y31. Similarly, comparing equations 6.3 and 6.4, okay, we will get y11 is equal to y10 plus y12 plus y13. Similarly, y22 is equal to y20 plus y12 plus y23 plus y24. Okay, we will get the equation like this. Okay power network uh, lumped and redrawn like this okay sample for bus system so y31 is equal to y13 that is equal to y minus y13 uh, similarly y14 is equal to y41 that is equal to minus y14 is equal to 0 y24 is equal to y42 is equal to minus y24 that is and y34 is equal to y43 is equal to minus y 3, 4. Each admittance y11 that is i is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 is called self admittance or driving point admittance of node i and equal to the algebraic sum of all the admittance terminating on the node. Each of diagonal terms y i k is equal to that is i comma k is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 is the mutual admittance, transfer admittance. First one is the self admittance, this one is the transfer admittance between nodes i and k uh, equals to the negative of the sum of the admittance connector directly between the nodes y i k is equal to y k i using index notations uh, equation 6.4 okay equation 6.4 uh, becomes j i is equal to sigma k 1 is equal to n v y i k v k that is i is nothing but 1 to n y bus is equal to y bus and j bus is equal to y bus and v bus okay where y bus denotes the matrix of bus admittance and is known as bus admittance matrix the dimensions of the y bus matrix n by n where n is the number of buses as seen above y bus is symmetric matrix except when phase shifting transformers are involved so that only n into n plus 1 by 2 terms are to be stored n buses system furthermore y i k is equal to 0 if buses i and k are not connected example y 1 4 is equal to 0 since the power network each bus is connected only few other buses the y buses of a large network is very sparse okay so where y bus is equal to z bus j bus Z bus is a bus impedance matrix that is the inverse of uh, y by 1 by y. So we can rewrite y dash bus. Okay, for a network of four buses, y bus is equal to z11, z12, z13. Similarly, uh, z41 like that. Symmetric y bus heals symmetric y bus, z bus. S is the diagonal elements of the z bus are called driving point impedance. Okay. Okay. But admittance, admittance matrix is often used in solving load flow problems. It has gained widespread applications showing its simplicity of data preparation and the easy way which the bus admittance matrix can be formed and modified for network changes, additions of lines, regulating transformers, etc. Of course, Spacity uh, is one of its greatest advantage as it's a heavy reduce, heavily reduced computer memory uh, and time requirements. In contrast to this, the formation of the bus impedance matrix requires either matrix inversions or use involved algorithms. Furthermore, the impedance matrix is a full matrix. Note, if the sample system of the buses are numbered in the arbitrary manner, uh, although, although in the more sophisticated studies, uh, large power systems, uh, it has been shown that certain ordering of the nodes producing faster convergence and 